Hi everyone, I'm John Lieberman, and this is I'm Thinking Of, and on this episode, I am thinking of sales intelligence, and there's no better guest than Heidi Bamberg, the VP of Alliances and Business Development at Inside View, which of course is a demand-based company. Heidi, it's nice to see you. Oh, great to see you too. Thanks, John, for having me today. So Heidi, let's start very basic, and then we can go a little deeper. So let's start with what is sales intelligence? That's a, that's a very good question. I like to think about it as the information that you need as a salesperson to be a little bit smarter than the average bear, a little bit more in tune with what your prospects' needs are. And it kind of boils down to understanding from their perspective what they need, what's the right time, who's the right person, and what's the right conversation that you want to be having so that they're interested. So I know, Heidi, that a question that is thrown out a lot is kind of the idea of why use sales intelligence? How's it going to help me? How's it going to make a difference in, you know, driving pipeline or, or what have you? So I'm going to throw that to you. Why use yeah. sales intelligence? Well, none of us like to be sold, but we buy things all the time. And so if you feel like you're being sold, it's probably because the person who's trying to help you understand uh, what, what they have to offer doesn't understand really what you need, or maybe it's not the right time. And so sales intelligence is really important for the salesperson to be able to connect with the prospect on a level that's meaningful for them. And I'll give you just a really quick uh, analogy. It, in the olden days, people always got called at the dinner hour for windshield repair services. And nobody wants to talk to windshield repair services when they're eating dinner. But if you're driving on a mountain road and you take a rock in the middle of your windshield and it's snowing and you can't see and you pull over, and as soon as you pull over, a nice guy jumps out of a van and says, I'm a bonded windshield repair, repair uh, service. I'm affordable. I can have your windshield done in five minutes and you'll be back on the road. Well, you are immediately interested in those services. And it's the same for, for B2B or any other kinds of sales. If somebody offers you something that's in your price range when you need it, and it's what you need to solve your problem, then you don't feel like you're being sold. You feel like somebody's helping you solve your problem. I love that story. Right place, right time. That old adage, but yeah. applied to you know, to B to B, as you just as you just described. So let me ask you this, Heidi: What is a sales intelligence platform? Well, a platform is what we use to describe a place where a lot of sales intelligence data, which in a B two B world might mean information about the companies that you're interested in, it could be how what their firmographic information, how big are they, what industry are they in, anything that can help uh, bring information about your prospects into one place and then make sense out of it all. I mean, as a salesperson, the last thing I want to do is have to do a bunch of research all over the web to find information about a prospect if somebody else, uh, an, an authoritative um, uh, expert, could bring it all in one place for me. I'd much rather go to one place and get everything I need to know than have to assemble it all myself. So the platform is that database, data repository of all of that goodness that a salesperson would love to get their hands on. So talk a little bit about, Heidi, about this idea of sales intelligence tools and then, and then inside view and kind of the, the value add there. Yeah, exactly. Well, the platform is the repository for all of the data. But think of uh, if you were to access, you know, anything on the web, but you couldn't do a search to pinpoint exactly what you wanted. You just knew all the information was out there. It would be of no value whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So the value of the uh, of Inside View or a sales intelligence solution is that it organizes all of the data that's in the platform in a meaningful way so that a salesperson can easily access it. And in a B2B world, we found that the easiest way to organize it is around company profiles. 
that include all of the information about the company, such as their size, uh, employee counts, where they're located, what is their family tree, all of the different subsidiaries that might have different names that you need to know about, who are their competitors, what is their industry uh, all about, what are certain trends and challenges in the industry, um, and, and also one of the most important things of the organization of the tool is making sure all of that data fits together and you don't have conflicts in, because there is no one source of, of a company that has everything you need. Those profiles get compiled um, by, from a lot of different sources and they all have to fit in together so that you have accurate information about that company and their, and their contacts. Hmm. Let me ask you this. AI, as you well know, is a, a hot button term, has been for a bit now. But I know that AI actually does have a fairly significant role in powering sales intelligence. Tell the audience a little bit about how AI plays in here, Heidi. Yeah, there's really two ways that AI is used uh, in sales intelligence. One is in the, the gathering and the filtering and the accuracy uh, of the data. Uh, when when you're taking in, or we as Inside View, we're taking in uh, data and information about millions of companies from thousands of sources, sources like company websites or other editorial uh, sources, publishers of information. Uh, when we're bringing all of that information into one database, AI uh, is used to establish, uh, we call it disambiguation which means you take all of these sources and you have to figure out, are they talking about the same company? You know, is Apple a company or is an apple a fruit? We have to know those um, nuances and we have to use uh, what's called natural language processing, which is, um, which is a technology that looks at published information and looks at the individual words in context to then decide whether we're talking about a company or, or a fruit. So AI is used to establish those patterns in the data, which help us uh, more get more precise profiles and really refine the accuracy of the data. The second big way that AI is used is to help make recommendations about how that data can be beneficial uh, to a salesperson or to a marketer. So those recommendations could be things like, um, who should you call on next? What's the ideal, who are the ideal people that you should call on in a buying committee? Because for your industry, these are all the titles of key people that make decisions. Or if you're, you've just had a success with one company, here's the recommended other companies that look just like the ones that you've already been successful. So recommendation engine is the second um, big area of advantage for AI and in, in sales intelligence. And, and Heidi, before I let you go, let me give you a hypothetical. So hypothetically, I'm a demand-based customer. You know, I, you know, I now know that Inside View is part of the demand-based family. And I'm thinking about, do I need to add the sales intelligence cloud to my existing tech stack. What would you tell me as an existing demand-based customer who's just sort of like, okay, Inside View sounds interesting. Uh, what would you tell me? <laughs> well, what I've always said is that you don't need Inside View to sell. You need sales intelligence to win. And so if you are an existing demand-based uh, company and you're using demand-based as your uh, go-to-market engagement engine or your ad tech platform, you're serving uh, the needs of your marketing team very, very well already. So take one step further and empower your sales team to be the most prepared that they could ever be for any of their um, prospect conversations. And don't leave those conversations to chance. It's so hard for the marketing team to get those conversations for salespeople in the first place. So when you have that opportunity, you want to know that you are 100% prepared for every sales conversation that you have. And that's how you will win many, many more deals than if you wing it, which unfortunately a lot of salespeople tend to do. 
And I don't know about you, but there are zero salespeople that I know who don't want to win. <laughs> so, <laughs> or or if they don't want to win, they're not in sales very long. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. There are so many salespeople that do rely on their own confidence or experience and don't really take as much time or find even efficient way to prepare for their sales conversations. So if you do, and you have these tools to make it really efficient at your fingertips, just a, you know, a five or a 10% more, um, pr more preparation could mean the difference between winning and not winning. Heidi, we really appreciate your time and your insights on sales intelligence. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thanks so much for uh, giving me the time, John. It's my pleasure.